I wanted to come to Japan because the company that I'm interested in working for is based out of Tokyo and so I figured if I'm going to be working in that corporation sometime soon, I might as well get my feet wet now and see what the culture of the country is like and see what I'm in for and hopefully get a head start on what I'm going to be a part of in the future. I think that the first thing one should have, always, is prudence in recognizing the great contributions of Japanese people, culture, of language, but also a realization of the realities of Japanese culture. Uh, we talked about on our trip some of the challenges facing the people and its economy as well as the nation as a whole, but we also talked about the many mannerisms and the many successes of the Japanese people. And I think that any prudent student who is willing to learn would be able to explore Japan fully and deeply by looking not only at a romanticized or idealized version of Japan, as we are often inclined to, or a harsh, negative view of it, but Japan as a whole. And I think this can only be achieved in study abroad, walking amongst the people, and interacting with the very people which you hope to understand. My favorite part of the trip was the tea ceremony because we got to put on really cool yukatas, kind of like this one, and um, we got to get done up all, all fancy in these outfits, and we had um, a ceremony that's part of their traditions where we have tea that's served to us and little snacks, and it, and it was really beautiful um, to experience something that they've been doing for generations. The Kakyashi project is very informative. It's, it seems that it was created by a group of people who have been thinking about the reality of Japan to uh, spread the word out so other people in other part of the world could see what is Japan is really about. If you're thinking about going abroad, don't even think about the negative possibilities, just go for it.